What is up guys and welcome back to an F1 2021 video. I know this one has been heavily requested so we are tackling it in today's video. We are going to test the damage model to its extreme. We're going to be running with simulation damage and we're basically going to be crashing into things for however long this video is. So if you want to see more F1 2021 content when it comes out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you could, leave a like, because uh, that'll help me in getting this video out. So, what's new then for F1 2021 in terms of new damage? Well, quite a few things actually. Uh, rear wing damage is the major one. You can get uh, uh, holes uh, basically punctured out of your rear wing. Uh, the uprights can get big shark bites taken out of them. Uh, we can get floor damage. In F1 2021, uh, we can get side pod damage, um, and the puncture animations have been reworked for this year's game. So depending on what kind of uh, puncture it is, whether it be wear related, or uh, you've hit a wall or contact or something, uh, the animation will be different, and it'll also be different from front tire axles to the axles of the tires on the rear. So um, yeah, that's that's something to bear in mind. So let's get out there now and do the fun part and actually put this into practice. So turn one, Spain, we absolutely clobber the rear wing of Yuki Sonoda, I think it was. Um, but here on the replay, I just wanted to slow it down and see what actual damage we managed to do. And surprisingly, we didn't make a single dent on Yuki's rear wing, which is rather unfortunate. But... Um, one thing I must say is that this is a early version of the game and I've had clarification from Lee Mather himself that Codemasters are going to work on it and continue to tweak the damage model on the lead up to release of the full game. So um, you'll, you'll probably find that damage is a little bit more consistent um, when crashes actually happen. So right there, we just damaged the rear wing on the Williams by reversing into a barrier. That was uh, a yellow level of damage um, and then here we have a, a little bit of a spin pretty light contact with the wall and that is enough to DNF us from the Grand Prix so anytime you lose a tire in F1 that's game over for your race <clears throat> it's uh, well I've never seen a case where you've lost a tire and been able to carry on so um, that's remained the same but what I will say is that um, I believe that the damage model is just a little bit more sensitive this year. There are some small crashes that actually take off a wheel, whereas in previous games, maybe that wouldn't have been the case, particularly for the AI, which you'll see over the course of this video. That there was some diffuser damage, uh, which was uh, a first, so that's uh, really, really cool to see. The Alpine uh, of Alonso has some pretty chunky bits out of the rear wing of his car, and this is a, a separate incident that the AI caused uh, while I was further down the road trying to cause some mayhem. Again, some rear wing damage for the McLaren. Nothing in the way of floor damage there, so that's um, worth noting, but big chunks out of the rear wing of that McLaren. Uh, this is a, a quick screenshot from my contrast video. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. Uh, that's the most damaged I've ever seen a rear wing on F1 2021. So the main planes can get damaged, the uprights uh, on the left and right hand side, and whenever you do get rear wing damage, um, it doesn't act as DRS, it acts as drag. So when you have rear wing damage, like we've got there, that's, uh, that's red. When it does go red, you're out of the Grand Prix, uh, which actually happened out of quite light contact. So, uh, very interesting to note. But, yeah, when you do get damage, it slows you down in a straight line. It also, I'd imagine, would make the car a little bit more unstable, uh, on the rear end. So, much more likely to spin out. So, if you do get rear wing damage unlucky because that'll have a, a massive uh, detriment to the car and you won't be able to fix that in a pit stop because F1 teams don't quick repair uh, rear wings. They do front wings but not the rear. Same goes with the floor damage. Now look at this contact I made with Alonso. That's pretty sensitive and that took off uh, one of his wheels. So yeah, I feel like it's a little... Look at how the front end, the front left corner of his car just exploded as I made contact with him. So I think it's a little bit more sensitive in this year's game. Contact with the uh, the barrier on the right-hand side. You might notice we've got some floor damage. 
uh, in this Baku race, driving as Max Verstappen. Again, hitting that right-hand wall, which is uh, pretty realistic. <laughs> but uh, on another note, we had, we had more accidents going on in this race. I was cause, causing absolute mayhem. As you can see there, I, I touched the wall on the right-hand side. Again, that's pretty sensitive too on sim damage. Just a light grazing of the barrier, and that's taken off the tire. Well, the, the tire rubber uh, around the rim. Uh, as well, you can run over debris, and that'll give you a puncture, as seen on F1 2020. Oh my god, <laughs> the Renault. Oh, I got a puncture! I got a puncture! For what? So yeah, it has happened in the past, so I would imagine that it would happen on F1 2021 if you are unlucky enough to encounter that. Now, what about the safety car? What happens when you hit the safety car? Do you get damage? Do you get disqualified? Does the safety car get damage? Let's find out. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. <laughs> that was a big one indeed. Um, I, I went back and I saw the speedo when I made contact with the safety car. 17 miles an hour. We absolutely flew in there like a madman. And that was enough to, to KO the Red Bull. So it seems the front end of that car is, is made out of paper mache. And, and the safety car is an absolute tank. Now let's see what happens to the AI when they touch the safety car. Leclerc touching it a lot harder than what I did. And uh, that is good night, nurse, for the Ferrari. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, not so safe safety car anymore. How about the rear end? Yeah, that, that car is impenetrable at this point. Um, it's probably worth noting that you're not supposed to hit the safety car ever under, under any circumstance. Um, but I've actually turned off rules and flags, so I'm able to touch the safety car and, and get away with it as long as the car can withstand the damage, which it, it really can't. The safety car is literally like force hammer. You, you cannot move it. Uh, the safety car moves when it wants to move, essentially. But uh, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much that. You can see all the damage I got on the car. Um, not floor damage. I've got damage to like the uh, the engine cover on on the outside. Um, oh, goodbye. It's 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 unknown uh, what kind of effect damage has to the engine cover, but I would imagine it would probably just be like drag related. Maybe even overheat the engine. That's something I'll, I'll get uh, confirmation from with Codemasters. But either way, that's something you would like to avoid at all costs. Now, in terms of other damage, uh, subtle damage. Uh, that have been in the F1 games. Uh, engine temperatures are one of them. You want to keep your engine temps down as low as possible. If it's in the orange or red, then you're going to have less uh, horsepower output uh, when you're on the straight. So try to avoid that if at all possible. And also tire temperatures as well. Uh, if you overheat the tires, they're more likely to get uh, accelerated tire wear. So yeah, just making sure you look after your car is of utmost importance. Going back to the engine temps, yeah, you wear out your engine faster if you're always uh, overheating it, basically. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm losing my marbles here in, in Baku. The safety car gave me damage on the last lap, and so I thought I'd get my revenge by putting it out of commission at the castle section. And for the most part, it actually worked until I waited around, got bored, and took out the Alfa Romeo. Uh, then it was able to get going again. But <laughs> yeah, this was a fun video to make. Just trying to get all types of different uh, damage on the car. Now, this point was very, very interesting because I was just looking at the replays, uh, observing the AI and the safety car. And when I backed out of this replay, my car just broke down. Like that. Um, nothing touched me. Nothing happened. I was sitting on my lonesome and then went back to the in-game... Uh, car and it just died on me. So I'm guessing the car just got too much sustained damage over a period of time. Now we know on this game that the wear or damage rate can be accelerated. So 
maybe if the damage goes unfixed for a certain amount of time, that is more likely to happen. But I thought that was interesting to show you guys anyway. So, um, even though nothing in particular got red, I didn't lose a wheel or anything, uh, the car just got so beaten up that it just gave up. <laughs> so try to avoid that in your uh, career mode Grand Prix or online race or whatever the hell it might be. But um, this is simulation damage, the most realistic setting the F1 game gives to us. And I'm just trying to see what I can throw at it, basically. But uh, anyway, I'm going to now test the floor damage. I'm going to run over a whole heap of uneven surfaces, uh, orange sausage curbs, uh, really high curbs. I'm going to go into the, onto the grass and stuff. Uh, you can see here on the exit of turn one, even going over that orange curb sideways, didn't do anything. How about this hill here, the bus stop? Still nothing, which is a shame. We're going to continue to work at things. Um, I also tried to run over the curb at the third to last corner of Baku, which is really uneven. I got no floor damage there. As you can see here, running over the big orange curb at the bus stop chicane multiple times has not given us damage. You can see, though, that there is visual damage on the floor, which will get up in photo mode now. So even though there's no performance impact, we can at least see that there is a visual effect uh, on the damage that we've received already. Again, early build of the game, I would say, or I would hope that a lot of these uneven surfaces will cause damage to the floor in the full version of the game. But it looks like from my testing that you can't, you can't get floor damage from simply just running over something. So hopefully that can be a thing in the full game. Again, testing other circuits, other surfaces, running over the, uh, the sleeping policeman on the uh, off-track surface over there. And now I'm running over this one, which is actually bottoming out the car. One thing I did test, or didn't test actually, was running 1-1 one, one ride height. I don't imagine that would affect the floor because we're running 6-6 six, six or whatever the default is. And we were bottoming out on that massive curb earlier and still there was no damage happening. So I'm, I'm just guessing that you can't get floor damage by means of running things over in this build of the game. But fingers crossed, uh, with this testing and with this attention we're giving it, hopefully Codemasters will make that a priority um, in the full game to come. So, what's next? We're now going to go to Bahrain and we're going to continue to test, <laughs> again, the, the floor damage. But one thing I have had confirmed by Codemasters is you can get floor damage by contact, simply just by running side by side with other cars, which we'll see in a minute. But um, here you can see I'm, I'm flying over very uneven surfaces, still no floor damage. I, do have, I did have floor damage from earlier, but that was just by heavy contact. Look at this contact here. It's side to side contact with Hamilton and it does give us even more floor damage. So even light bouts of contact, just simply rubbing up against another car, can give you floor damage. So that is very, very interesting to note. Now at this point, I'm trying to get a puncture on the rear tires. And there we go on the left rear. You can see all the marble on the pickup and the car becomes very, very difficult to control with no traction control when you've got a puncture. Now look at this, this is hilarious. Mick Schumacher gets absolutely destroyed by the safety car <laughs> coming out of the pit lane. Um, I've, I've reversed him into the safety car and he gets absolutely deleted from the game. This, uh, this Alfa Romeo really has copped a beating now at this point. And uh, the thing that happened to Baku, where the car just gives up, it, uh, it actually happened again in, in, in this instance. But this was uh, after KOing my car. At this point, I wasn't able to do a flashback to get back in the car. So I'm guessing it was past the point of no return and I just had to retire from the race. One final thing to test in this video is driving till the tires explode. Look at how much the tires wear <laughs> when you lock up. It's insane. So this is what happens then when you run 70% brake bias. Pretty insane tire wear, if I do say so myself. A couple of those clips there were live commentated, but um, 
yeah, we'll see in just a couple of corners what happens when the tire is punctured by means of wear. It's actually punctured now, but the, the tire slowly starts to unravel as I hit that curb. Massive vibration, and, and the tire is, is fully flapping around um, in, in the carcass of the tire. So that was... That's the tire. That's uh, the different animations you, you get for getting a puncture in the F1 2021 game. And when you do get a puncture, it's so easy for the car to snap and spin around. So it's even more brutal than previous games. But that's been this video for today, guys. Make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you need to see plenty more F1 2020 on videos. That's it from the preview build. See you in the full game. Drive till the tires explode. Doesn't take long on this game. When you drive like an idiot.